Dave Gregg was an important part of Tupelo and certainly was one of the garden spots in the development of the blues. Uh, one of our favorite sons, Elvis, uh, was influenced a lot by blues that were played right here in this very neighborhood. I am a lifelong native of this city. As a child, there were two major communities for African Americans in this community. They were the hill where I still live, and I call it across the track, but they call it shake Ray, but I call it across the track. <laughs> we went to school and church together. Transportation was very limited, so when we would come over, Across the track to a party, we were traveling in groups of maybe 10 or 12, coming to a birthday party. Uh, I had many friends who lived uh, across the track. Holes and claws. People used to just come out of that shape and start being, I call it shape red. Then somebody told me because they had the two largest laundries in Tupelo, laundries at times, eight laundries. And they had all this modern, this modern equipment they had. They had to, when they took the sheets, they had to get, take the people outside and shake the sheets. I don't know where it came from, we just shake bread. But let me say something about shake bread. That when I was growing up, we would take this as a positive and a negative. Only the person who stayed in shake bread could talk about shake bread. You can talk about shake rag if you stayed on the hill or stayed out in the Pam area. You had to be in shake rag because we did say something about shake rag and you didn't stay in shake rag. It was a fight. <laughs> but one thing about this theory, it produced what we might call in our eyesight professional. People don't realize that when you look into it, you have a guy by the name of Paul Smith, you heard me talking about him, a professional musician. I mean, he could set up a band, start a band, leave Tupelo, go to California, come back to Tupelo, set up a band, start a band. And he had a lot of professional musicians with him. I mean, his name was George Smith, but we all called him Paul. He even served as the bandmaster, the band director for our school one time. Then we had a guy by the name of U.S. Mayon. Most people don't realize that Mayon had a musical talent also. He was a musician. And he helped get a lot of bands started. And we had the Norwood Brothers that had a lot of input put in musical instruments and plays. Steve, Tony, and Pete Norwood. And then we had one of the greatest musician, musical singers in the world that nobody remember her. She came to Shake Rag. She left Shake Rag with the Californian mayor living. Her name was Hattie Sue Hayes. She just died two or three years ago. Tremendous voice, tremendous singer. She was singing a few years before she died. But she was powerful. Matter of fact, she was carried from two little bow white gentlemen all the way to California and got a license and got everything on, made records and recorded. And there was another guy who hung around Tupelo and he was blind. But he hung around Tupelo and uh, left Tupelo with the Birmingham. And he became part of what we call the National Blind Boys Singing. I shot marbles, I played, we run on the rouse and everything. Two or three people in Tupelo, a guy by the name of Elvis Professor. He was down in the Delta down and everything. We played down and you know, singing. Savior boys and everything else, they ever the best day. Up on the hill, we played with each other, shot marbles and all that kind of stuff. Elvis could do something I couldn't do, that was singing. Y'all know the rest of the story, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> he made it and I didn't. <laughs> but anyway, we learned and, and, and we loved Elvis and Elvis loved us. And that's where we came to know each other. And here we are today celebrating the blues and we celebrate Shade Red. We, uh, we started this project in 2006 and we went with the vision of having about 100 markers throughout the state that would 
talk about the blues heritage and honor a lot of the blues legends who I want to recognize, one of them staying in the room with us today. We honored him not too long ago. Uh, please give a round of applause for Mr. Sam Mosley. Mississippi Delta, but all across the state of Mississippi, from the Hills region to the River region, all the way down on the Gulf Coast. We have a lot of talent in our state, and you're going to get a taste of the up and coming. I, I don't even want to say up and coming, they are talented. I've had the opportunity to spend a lot of time with uh, the group that's going to provide the entertainment for you later on on the road. And I did an interview uh, several months back, and a gentleman asked me, uh, Was the blues a dying art form? And I told him, No. I told him boldly, I said, look, I said, I don't know what you heard. I said, but we have a lot of talent in Mississippi. I said, one of the youngest, I said, to me, I, 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 can, I can stand boldly and say one of the best blues bands that are playing on the circuit right now is a young man out of Tupelo, Mississippi. I said, when you say the name Tupelo, people automatically think of Elvis. I said, before long, they're going to be saying Elvis and Homemade Jams. I said, they're a talented band. So I would say that uh, this project would not be uh, possible if we didn't have the support of our communities. And every time that we've called on Tupelo, we did our very first market here last year in honor of Elvis out of the birthplace. And we knew we were going to be coming back once the facility was uh, renovated because we talked about the area of Shake Rag and, and Pat said, well, you know, it's right here. I said, well, we're going to have to put a market somewhere in this area. So I'm happy to be here and on behalf of the state, I hope that you will enjoy and um, be supportive of the Blue Trail Project. We uh, still have a long ways to go. Our list has grown from about 120 to about 140 plus now. And uh, each day we learn about new and great artists that we should be honoring along this path.